I see what you're doing! A thousand- um... And on today's flight, we're heading from the Outback- so, so, Oh my god, sorry bro! <laughs> Welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. It's been a little while since I've made one of these Horizon 3 mod videos, but today, we are back with this thing. A Volkswagen Beetle. Sort of. Welcome to my car that is gonna be hitting 1,000. 500 miles an hour. This is going to be my introduction and sort of my learning process for how to get cars just to stupid, stupid top speeds. And I think you can already tell this one's pretty quick. Anyways, before we get into that though, let's let's go and show you what I've done to this thing. So we've got a standard Bugatti here. The thing's pretty quick. It's what, a thousand five hundred horsepower? I think the SS one? Anyways, I've already gone in and I've boosted it up a little bit. The minimum horsepower that we can run on this car is 700,000 horsepower. I should also probably say, I know a lot of people have made videos where cars go faster and stuff like this, but I sort of wanted to start off slow and well, physically slow and pick up pace as we go on because getting into Horizon 4, I want to be able to max out and reach possible- I don't even know what we can hit. I want to try to hit the maximum speed in this game. After the power upgrades, we are up to 85 million horsepower, which is just- to be honest, a bit silly. Here's one thing I actually messed up. The weight of the car, weight of a stock Veyron is 4,000 pounds. However, if I do weight reduction, I can remove it down to 3,300. Or, I may have messed this one up and made the thing 200 pounds. So anyways, we'll run with that one for now. If we need to, we'll go and fix some stuff. We're gonna definitely need a gearbox because we're gonna want to tune our gears in this thing. Because if we don't, oh boy, it's not gonna move. We also need some good old-fashioned race tire compound. That is gonna be fantastic. Let's get some little bit wider tires as well. I may want to up the width of the tires even more than this, but we'll see how it does for now. And we're all-wheel drive, and we are good to go. I've also done a couple of other things to this Bugatti Veyron. We are running 10 times the amount of grip on the tires as compared to a normal one. And this might look like a Bugatti Veyron, however, on the front, it's actually an Aston Martin Vulcan. In the rear, it's a Ferrari FXXK. And the profile of the car is the Jaguar D-Type. Basically, long story short, what that means is we've got a hell of a lot of downforce, but we also have like zero sort of drag on the car. So we're just gonna be able to punch a hole in the air and fly. Anyways, without any tuning, let's just see what it does. Oh, we've also got an 18,000 rev limit. All right, I think we just hit 1,200 miles an hour and I wasn't paying attention. That was honestly the smoothest launch I've ever got. Before I started recording this, I was practicing and practicing and practicing, trying to get the thing to be good. And first launch, bang, nailed it. So you know how my miles an hour thing in the bottom right, well, that only has three digits. If you want to see how fast your car actually goes, you have to open up this. With that being said, though, let's give it a go and see what we can do and actually probably... All right, that's, that's the, not how it... We were over a thousand miles an hour, though! Um... I cannot click anything, though. I can't pause... PAUSE! Yeah, that's- that's- that's one of the slight problems. So basically what happened there is the game just sort of goes like non-responsive mode. I think it's safe to say that the game wasn't built for doing this, so... Eh. Hopefully this time we can actually pay attention to the speed and see what we're able to hit. Let's just roll off the line. Let's not try to do any stupid crazy launch. That's 500, 600, 700, 900, 1,000, 200, 1,000, 300 miles an hour right into that. And I think my game's gone non-responsive again. It's like you legit only get one attempt and then it just goes. One of the other things I'm noticing right now is my car does do a wheelie. So, I'm going to make the weight reduction, or the, the weight distribution a little bit different. Nice jump! This thing is stupid fast. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, let's see what we're going to be able to do this time. Just focus on the ple speed. Please don't crash into anything. Let's just go. I'm going to stay in first. Of course, we hit the guy who's weaving around, and then I get- I lose control. Seriously? Okay, let's try to make it back down to the other end. I have to be so careful with pressing the gas. Look at my throttle percentage. It's absurd. Like, the game is so not built for what we're doing, and we're really pushing it to the extreme, especially 
with this, I'm pressing the brake and it picks up speed. I press the handbrake and it picks up speed. What? Why are we going forward when I'm pre- Okay, just go. Just go. Pray there's nothing in the way. 700, 800 I saw. Go back down to fur- What's going on? Why is this car breaking down? 800, 900 miles an hour. How was our first attempt by far the best one? Here's the problem. I can't pause and fast travel back. That's- that's the problem. I don't know if it's when we open the, like, telemetry that the game becomes unresponsive, but I'm just gonna leave it closed. If you see the number hit uh, over a thousand, it'll just reset. Let, let, well, let's figure out if that's the problem first. Let's- let's just go. So there's three- I can't even keep up. 900, over a thousand, thousand, one hundred, thousand, two hundred, three hundred, nearly four hundred. I think that's a- wait, is that a thousand? No, that's four hundred miles an hour. I thought- I think we almost hit 1,400 miles an hour at the end of the runway. And look, I can still pause. So it totally is the telemetry. You know what I'm going to try and do? I'm going to try and open it while I'm driving. Well, we're doing over 1,000. There we go. No, it doesn't open, but... Okay. Well, thank you for crashing into us. And I'm... Okay. If you try to open the telemetry... Okay, I got it. I got it. It is officially confirmed. If you open the telemetry while you're doing over a certain speed, you just can't pause anymore. Very strange. You know what? Actually, I might give a go. Let's open the SETI. If we change it from analog to digital. Anyways, that actually looks pretty goddamn cool. I've never used this HUD in the game, but looks pretty cool. Let's give it a go, see what we can do, and then we'll actually figure out what parts of this car we need to fix and what parts need more power, possibly? I don't know. We'll find out. Let's just give it a go. Let's see what our problem issues are. It's still popping a wheelie. We're doing over a thousand miles an hour right now. Okay. We get up to third gear only. So here's what I think. I think one, we need a little bit more downforce both in the front and the rear because our car is still too much doo -doo -doo. It just needs to go hunker down and go. Let's give it one more go. If I notice anything else, we will be good to uh, go and upgrade this thing. Okay. So again, we get through there, but you can see I'm like just pointing left, right, left, right to try to counteract what the car's doing. It just needs to go, because if I want it to hit the speed that I want it to hit, I'm not going to have time for any left, right, left, right stuff. That's over a thousand. That's a thousand three hundred miles an hour we just did the jump at. So what do we need? I think for one, we need more horsepower. I just want this car to grip and go. We need more horsepower because I only got up to third gear, so we probably need that. Maybe we want some more weight reduction as well. If we reduce the thing to maybe a thousand kilos and then give it more downforce possibly and maybe double the downforce so the thing's really being pushed into the ground and can really use all of the horsepower. I think that'll be good. And then just to help it grip a little more, let's give it some bigger tires too, like much, much bigger tires. Uh, so I think you can see what I've done with my upgrade. Well, a couple of them. So before I think we had like 85 million horsepower, now we've got 117 million. Let's also do some weight reduction. We're gonna go from 3,500 pounds uh, down to 2,400. I also went in and I doubled the downforce this thing has, and I also reduced like the hole in the air that it punches to half. So basically, we've got huge amounts of downforce pushing it down. It's going to produce a tiny little hole in the air. This thing is going to be insanely fast. All right, there's 100, 200, 300 that we've crashed. Uh, game's not responsive again. I have no control over the gears. Uh, gear ratios are broken. So <laughs> look at our graph for our gears. That's okay. We probably need to extend it a little bit. Anyways, let's see. Three, two, one, and... Go! Oh! How did it do a wheelie? How did it do that? We might need more downforce. Like, a lot more. Apparently, the big grippy tires are... Why you break down now, game? Come on! Oh! Okay, okay, you never know. You never know when VTech kicks in. <laughs> Come on, Veron. I know you want to do it. Let's go. 300 it needs to go like hit VTech, you know, I just don't know Maybe I should do it in automatic Maybe if I did it in automatic that would help because then one I wouldn't need to worry about changing gear and I could just watch my speed 
two, maybe it'll just work. I refuse to allow this game to stop me from hitting my top speed. Let's go. See what we can do now. We've made it worse. Oh, okay, no, we didn't. That's 700. Um, that's four miles an hour. <laughs> F5. Hello, Nick Cutting in here. I'm currently editing this video and I noticed something a little bit special. So if you don't have the telemetry open, the way you can see if you've reached over a thousand miles an hour is you will get to 999 and then it will tick over and start at zero again. And before we got stuck doing four miles an hour, we actually got to 2000 and 68 miles an hour. I'll play it in slow motion. This is what it looks like before the game was just like, nope. So, uh, yeah, the top speed we were able to hit right here, 2,068 miles an hour. I didn't even realize that while the game was playing. It was just way too fast to be able to tell what was going on. How did I end up over there on the, like, look where my thing is. How did I end up over there? I think I broke the se I think I went faster than light. Maybe that has something to do with the telemetry not working. The first run, we hit 1,200 miles an hour. Okay, that's 1,500. We hit 1,500 there. No way. We just took the jump at 1,000 miles an hour. That is unbelievable. This car is an absolute monster. I mean, pr providing it works. Let's, uh... Try that again. Uh, oh my god! Okay, um, that's, that's launch control. <laughs> Let's see. And launch! Thousand, thousand eight hundred miles an hour. Uh, we're doing six again. Honestly, the numbers go so fast. It might even be two thousand. Okay, I'm gonna rev this one up. Maybe the revving will be different. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> thousand one, five, seven. Wall, house, or thing. Okay. Oh, we're still on the runway. Okay, we're good. I can actually do a second attempt. Apparently the Ver- Oh, 1,400. The Veron's a one-shot wonder. Never mind. 1,200 miles an hour. I can't complain with that. That's pretty good. What is the speed of sound in miles an hour? One speed of sound converts to about 761 miles per hour. <laughs> One speed of sound is 761. So we're two speed of sounds. <laughs> how fast is one speed of light in miles an hour? Here's what I found on the web for how fast is one speed of light. 186,000 miles an hour. That's not happening. <laughs> All right, last attempt at this because I've restarted my game, honestly, I think a thousand times. Rev it up, hold it, and three, two, one, go. Oh. Again. Okay, there we go. 1,005, 1,700 miles an hour. We officially did it. Oh, boys, we exceeded my expectations. That never happens on a video. I don't know where my car is planning on going. Oh, he wants more of a run up. I see what you're doing. A thousand, um, and on today's flight, we're heading from the outback to a little bit further away from the airport. Thank you so much for flying and watching today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, check out the merch. Link down below, there's some new stuff. Be warned though, it is selling out very, very quickly. Anyways, hopefully I've learned enough stuff today where in a little bit, we can try to hit 2,000 miles an hour. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.